Hey guys, welcome to my feeding video. We'll start off with the Acanthoscuria chacoana. <laughs> that a girl. Yeah, I figured she'd be hungry after a molt. And indeed she was. Yeah, don't let that one escape. <laughs> She's got two there. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Aren't they funny when they stand up on their tippy toes like that? It's pretty funny. Alright. Enjoy. On to the next one. The next one we will feed will be the uh, Phonopalma Simani. <laughs> yep, I knew you'd be hungry too. <laughs> Very good eater. Alright, next. Look at that. Beautiful. This is my Chromatopama Cianio pubescens. As usual, this one should be hungry. Let's see, we'll offer this one a couple of big crickets today. As soon as I can open the lid. No problem. What a beautiful tarantula. one cricket laying there stunned. <laughs> Is that for later, sweetie? <laughs> All right. Next. And here's my larger Brachypalma smithy. Well, good. Now you have another one in there for later. <laughs> All right, next. And here is my Formictopus concerides. Well, there you go. <laughs> you 
like that? Of course you do. Alright, next. Here's my Bracky Palma Baggins. <clears throat> Got one, but the other one escaped. <laughs> Over there. Okay, I guess that's all for now. <laughs> Alright, next. Here's my Thrixel Palma Ockerty. <laughs> Boy, was that snaky. <laughs> All right, next. Here's the lair of my Heteroscadra Maculata. Very good. Finally get an attack from this one on camera. Can you believe that little thing gave me a threat posture once? Of course, it's an HMAC. <laughs> what do you expect? Alright, very good. Next. Here's another rare sighting of my Samapoa Sermenia. beautiful indeed a beauty all right <laughs> enjoy and here's my bracky palma bowman
wasn't interested. There's an update. Doing really well. Alright, next. Here's my Pamphobetius Antonus. Excellent. <coughs> awesome. All right, next. Here's my Acanthoscuria genicolata. Nope, doesn't seem interested right now. Check on it later. Alright. Here's my update on my Nandu Carapinensis. Um, this one molted uh, this week, uh, so we won't be feeding this one. But doing really well. Very slow grower. But you can already start to see a little bit of the pink hairs on the body. But yeah, we'll be hungry next week. All right, next. Here's my Paraphysa parvula. Not interested, just like last time. So, this one might be due for a molt. We shall see. All right, next. Can't see my pokey very well, Pocletheria striata, but it's in there hiding from the light as usual. But I'm going to put a couple of big crickets in here and uh, see if we get any kind of response I really don't want to prod this one uh, because it's very fast and will probably run out of the enclosure and I'm in no mood to chase after a pokey. <laughs> I 
I think yesterday it was looking for food. I don't know if you can even see him. Probably just a leg. Well, he doesn't seem to want to attack on camera, so we'll just leave the crickets in there and I'm sure it'll enjoy its meal later. Alright, next. Here's another one we're not going to see very well, but uh, you can barely see the rear end of the Afonopalmo calcodes. I'm going to just drop a couple of small crickets in there and that'll be that with that one. All right. You can see the calcodes right there at the entrance to uh, her cavern. <coughs> we'll drop a few crickets in there and see if we get any kind of response. <laughs> Just running away. probably take the other two out just leave the one but uh, all right well that's all we get to see of the uh, phono palma calcodes all right my nandu chromatis is in her cave well let's see if I can draw her out with these crickets There we go. <laughs> I love how she attacks. She's good. <laughs> All right. Here's my Nandu Colorado Velosis. Excuse me. interested. Alright, next. Look at my freshly molted avicularia avicularia. Beautiful. Check that beauty out. Obviously we won't be feeding this one until next week. But uh, there's her malt. Very nice. So I'll give her some water and we'll leave her alone. All right. Well, it looks like we're not going to feed the uh, Trino Chilis Muranus either. Check that out. Got what's left of a malt. <laughs> There. Leg. 
another piece. There's another. Yeah, I'll just leave that one there. But is this one? Well, there's another piece. But, uh, yeah, she's in there. Sorry we can't see her. But, uh, no feeding her today. Let me go ahead and get that. There we go. So, I don't know when she molted, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm not going to feed her for a week. Um, but I did give her some water, so she's taken care of. All right, next. Well, you could probably barely see the Ceratogyrus brachycephalus in there behind the webbing in her cave. We'll see if that attracts her. Sometimes we're lucky enough to get her to eat on camera, and other times not so much. There's a little bit of my Trinachillus murinus, freshly molted. You can barely see that. Looking good. You're not going to take that, are you? Not on camera, anyway. Well, oh, there's a little movement. Are we going to get some action? Hmm? At least we get to see a little bit of her. She's never in a hurry when she takes food. <laughs> Alright, well, not interested right now at least. Not enough to eat right now. Probably doesn't like the light. So we'll just leave that one as an update. Grungetta is doing really well. Alright, next. The uh, Brachypoma abopilosum. Well, I don't think you could see that with the uh, reflection. Um, still doesn't want to be bothered. She is completely plugged up her entrance there. So... Uh, usually when she does that, she's in pre-malt, so I'm just going to give her some water and leave her alone. Alright, next. This is my Acanthoscuria bronchohursti, which attacked the uh, water dish as I was pouring water in it. Yeah, probably very hungry. <laughs> Yeah, you were hungry, weren't you? <laughs> All right, good. You enjoy that. Here is my uh, Grandma Stola poker piece. We'll see if this one's hungry.
I will leave them in there and check on it later. All right. The Lassiodora pear habana is in pre-molt, so we won't be feeding this one today. But uh, here's a good look. See how dark and swollen that abdomen is? Definitely going to molt. Probably will be my next tea to molt. Alright, next. My very young Brachypalma smithy did not eat the worms that I had in there, so I don't know whether the tea thought they were too big or wasn't hungry, but I'm going to put a little cricket in here and see if maybe it'll be less intimidated by that. It hasn't molted for me yet, so I don't know if that's a factor. But There's the worm it didn't eat. I don't think I've gotten this one to eat on camera yet. I'll just leave it in there as an update and check on it later. All right, next. And finally, here's my sweet Gramostola rosea. This is another tarantula that I would keep if I had to give up most of my collection. Um, not that they're the most exciting uh, in the world, but I'm, I guess, more sentimentally attached to this one because this one was my first one. And uh, she, most of the time, lets me hold her. So, I'm going to offer her a cricket, but I'm not going to hold my breath because she's fast a lot. It's taking me a little while to get it out here. Well, she doesn't seem interested, just as I thought, but I'll leave it in there in case she changes her mind. But, uh, yep, yeah, she's doing really well. Alright guys, we had quite a few attacks. Um, thanks for watching my video as always. Alright, bye.